Okay, now I'm gonna start banging my PVC in. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> Go forward, going like butter. And I'm using a rubber mallet instead of the <clears throat> two by four. We'll see how that works. I want to get this down in holds the pipe off to one side. That's my four inch that I'm eventually going to use. I guess I need that up a little bit still. <clears throat> wow, it's not bad. Four feet up. Well, so you can get a sense of how fast this is going. This is now about uh, 10 feet, about seven feet in. <clears throat> now I'm just banging on this, as you can see, with big old mallet, rubber mallet plastic mallet and it is sliding in right like butter. Quarter inch every time I hit it. So I thought I was going to hit a big lump obstacle. I saw it inside with my camera right around 15 feet. But I'm already past 15 feet. So something got freed up. I have a rubber sleeve on the other side that I can use to slide these two together so I need to be real careful I don't go too far so I can use my cup
much to it. Letting the hammer do the work. I think I'm going to get all the way to the full 20 foot length. I might hit something solid. I've already hit everything solid that I'm going to hit. Oh, something there. It's fighting back a little bit, but there it goes. Kept pushing. So whatever was in there must have been softer than it looked. It looked like a big old honking. Whoop! <laughs> Look at that. on which will go right to about there so another six inches maybe now I can also want to cut this flange because you can see the end of this PVC right here has got all folded over you can even feel it it's been folded over so I may want to just go cut another inch and then this in place. Let's see what we got. We got three inches there. If I cut that, I could go a little further, but I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna cut it. <clears throat> and I'll let you know how that's done. <laughs> 